Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name's Alison and it's really, really lovely to have you with me today. I did intend on this video being a outdoors, out and about, um, day trippy type vlog video, but it's so, so hot here at the moment in the UK. My face is absolutely dripping and we're just not equipped to deal with it. And with me being pasty skinned as well, it, it just it's just not the weather for to be going out and doing day trips right now. So instead, I'm going to just show you another charity shop haul. So just a, a few bits this time that I managed to get in the last few weeks from the charity shops. I do like having a good nose around the charity shops at this time of year to see what I can get hold of. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So first I'm going to show you a few bits of clothing and then just a few other bits and pieces that I picked up. So the first thing, it's going to be a little bit difficult to show you these, um, our local air ambulance shop, um, does all clothing and um, you know bits and pieces like that for two pounds it's one of the the discount stores so I managed to pick up this dress I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well so it's got a nice scoop neck and it's really long it's got ties at the side it's really really long but it does also have I've just noticed it does have about another three inches on it where someone's actually turned it up by hand um, so it's really really long so it's thin in it but it's cottony it's not that horrible um, nylon material that makes you really hot in the summer so I thought that would be really nice to throw on if I go out of the house um, a second thing that I got from there and I'm thinking now more towards autumn time it's another dress but this is brown with a little polka dot and again it's a really really long one it's got the nice um, cut there across so that it sort of comes in at this point and I'm thinking that I'm probably going to have to wear a little vest top under it because it is quite low but that's okay because it's for autumn time with um, a nice pair of brown boots and a little cardigan I think that would look really nice for two pounds and the next one I only picked this one up yesterday I thought this was really good value so this one was three pounds from our local Sue rider shop and it's actually the two, two from Tesco and it's a beautiful, again, thinking towards autumn, really pretty crochet collar on a knitted card again. And I've been looking for a while for one in this colour because um, maybe having red hair, this is kind of a colour that suits me. And in the autumn, this is the sort of colour I like to wear a lot. And I've got quite a few bits in this colour, but no cardigan to go with them. So I was really, really pleased to find this yesterday. And it's got lovely, the sleeves kind of fell out a bit at the end. So that's it for the clothes. And the next thing that I picked up was, it's a bit, kind of a little bit of a joke, but actually I really like it. So I used to have a mug with strawberries on. And when we moved to this house, it just disappeared. It just went missing. I'm sure someone's broken it. No one's owning up to it. And it is only a mug, uh, but it was my favorite mug. And it's the fact that it's just disappeared into thin air. Now this one is not the same, but spotted this mug with strawberries on and it's really really pretty it's got a little strawberry inside as well okay it feels like it's bone china but i'm not sure it's a really really beautiful mug but with the mug came also a coaster everybody needs a coaster and also this beautiful little tray that you can just like put your sandwiches on so i'm thinking while i'm reading i shall have this beside me with my uh, mug on the coaster and my little snack my dinner my sandwiches some cake or something on the little tray at the side of me and it'll be really cute so yeah that was two pound sixty for all of those so i was really pleased with that now the next thing i found in the pound in the charity shop is something that i've been looking for forever i've been looking for something like this for ages now i actually would have preferred ceramic but this will do so i was walking in there yesterday again in the sea rider shop and this was three pound fifty for all three pieces okay so i managed to get candles candlesticks so these are the sort of candlesticks and then there's the snuffer as well with it so these are the kind of candlesticks that you you know you actually carry your candle around on and i just i just really want one i want to in the autumn time and in the winter <clears throat> excuse me i want to be able to walk upstairs with my candle and my book in my hand 
and you may see that on a video at some point in the future um, but I just really want to read by candlelight and have this I mean it's, it's nice and safe because when the wax drips it's just going to drip into here rather than all over everywhere um, and I can actually safely carry that now of course because I bought those I had to go hunting them for some actual wick candles some dining candles so I went into the pound shop for those these were four for a pound from Poundland so yeah I got two packs just so that you know I've got plenty in so hopefully they're going to fit this should be okay this should be the right size hopefully they're going to fit on there I'm, I'm just so chuffed to bits to get those because I, I have been looking for them just for absolutely ages and um, that was it for the charity shops but there's a couple of other bits that I picked up that I just want to show you so as you know I like books I do a lot of books uh you know book hauls and I love to read um but also I really really love movies and sometimes I prefer to watch the movie than read the book so this is one of those so the book thief I absolutely love the movie of this so again this was in pound shop it was in Poundland for a pound so I thought I'll get that so I can watch it any time that I want to so quite often unless the books are very very different to the film or the tv show I will only do one or the other I can't or I will read the book first and then watch the film or tv show but I can't do it the other way around I can't watch a tv show or a movie um, and then read the book when it's exactly the same because it just doesn't hold my interest and I've got so many books to get through that it's just not worth it for me so the book thief absolutely love that movie and um, the next thing I, I, I bought I have I'm a Neil Jard Remedies organic consultant and I have lots of empty blue bottles I've got this little empty blue bottle and I thought what I wanted to do with it was make my own reed diffuser I, I, could, I couldn't order the reeds online um, on their own but I was in um, home bargains and I spotted this so this has already got the stuff in the bottom and it's got the reeds now I bought it for £1.29 thinking that I didn't want this although it's a really nice bottle it's not my thing I just wanted to use the reeds but I've opened it and actually I really really like the smell excuse me I've got a real tickle on my nose it's because I'm sweating and it's dripping sorry that's gross but it's summertime and it's hot and that's how it is so yeah you've got these little reeds inside and the idea was that I was going to put my own oil and essential oils in there because I like things that are natural um, and then I was just going to put the reeds in there and make my own but I have actually opened this and it's it's uh, cotton fresh and I do actually really like the smell so I think I'm actually I think I'm actually going to use this I'm not a fan of the chemical scents and things like that I do prefer things natural but it does smell quite nice and quite fresh so I think that I am going to use it so now I need to get more reeds for my little bottle the last thing is actually from Aldi now I got this because one I used to do this as a child and I really wanted to do it again but also I want to do this in a future video as well and show you so for 4 99 I managed to pick up this flower pressing kit it's a lovely little flower pressing kit so I've, I've just opened it up and had a little look inside and it, it's actually pretty good if you're looking for something for over the summer for kids to do uh, while all the flowers are out then this is this is really actually really nice so it take it out of the box and it looks like this so inside it you've got I'll say the flower press and um, so you've got some glue you've got a couple of cards and envelopes in there for sticking flowers on afterwards you've got um a couple of I think this oh this one's actually let me open this one this one's actually a poster showing you all the well not all of them obviously but showing you some of the flowers that you can put in so daisies pansies things like that so that's nice for identification for kids little leaflet actually telling you what to do and how to put the press together and this beautiful little scrapbook as well that's ribbon tied it's so cute and the paper inside is really really nice it's um it's quite thin but it's really really cute so obviously you can decorate the front of that any way that you want to put little scrabble tiles with your names and things on um 
and it and tie tie the edges together it's really cute and put all your all your flowers inside and keep them so i'm just going to open this because it is wrapped in plastic so as a child we didn't have things as complicated as flower presses so what we used to do was buy blotting paper which you use with a fountain pen with an ink pen um, put your flowers between two pieces of blotting paper and then pile books on top just put something heavy on top to keep it flat and keep it down uh, but this is a little bit more uh, sophisticated than that if i can open the box so right what we've got is we've got a little packet with the screws in with the nuts and bolts in and we've got layers so you've got your top layer which is wood these are your pieces of like blotting paper it doesn't feel like blotting paper it feels like ordinary paper but this is your paper there's quite a lot of sheets of that this is your paper that you're going to put your flowers in between then some layers of cardboard just to make sure it's um, protected and then your bottom piece of wood so what you would do for those of you who've not pressed flowers before put your wood on the bottom put that on put a few pieces of paper put your flowers inside put your flowers nice and carefully on there put the rest of the paper on top and what this is going to do this paper is going to absorb all of the moisture from your flowers so that it draws it out as it squashes it put your other bits of card back on top they're not very straight piece of wood then put all your nuts and bolts in the corner so what that's going to do is pull it tight so that it it squashes your flowers flat now you're gonna to have to leave that for a while i don't know how long but it will be in the instructions so you have to leave that for a little while to make sure they're all squashed flat but as i say you can do it with um, blotting paper and then just a load of books on top or anything heavy bricks whatever anything heavy on top just to keep that nice and flat but it's a really really lovely thing to do in the summertime and i used to um my mom when i was little my mom used to draw me little pictures like of a crinoline lady with a big skirt and then i'd um put little flowers in it and fill it and you know decoupage it and things like that and i used to make depend on the size of the petals i used to make little mice with a, a big fat petal for the body and then a little one for the head and things like that so it's just a really nice thing to do if you're going to use a bit of blotting paper it'll cost you next to nothing i'm not sure if you might be able to use um kitchen roll but it's got pattern in it so i don't know but you could try that but it's, it costs hardly anything a bit of paper a bit of glue and then your flowers from wherever from around the garden so yeah it's something really nice to do so i will be doing this in a future video and giving it a go and then um, i'm hoping to get some little frames from the charity shop and then making some little pictures for my wall so that's it for this little haul it's only a small one um but i just wanted to show you what i'd got hopefully it'll cool down a little bit in the next week i mean you know i like some sun in the summer but over 30 degrees is way too hot for this pasty redhead so yeah hopefully it'll cool down a little bit and i'll be able to get outside and do a bit more vlogging with you um, I've also got the next video coming up is going to be what I read in July and my TBR for August. So if you're interested in seeing that, click subscribe and the notification bell. And as soon as it comes up, you'll be notified. But I am going to upload every Friday morning. So thanks again for being with me today. It's really nice to have you here and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.